So right off the bat, we're uh, we're off to uh, this. This definitely got to be the cheapest set because it's already misprinted. What's going on everybody? Gage Benson, sponsored disc golfer from Worcester County, Massachusetts. And today I got a fun little thing going on. Um, I see it done on other YouTube channels. I'm pretty sure Simon was out there this before, but I wanted to find the cheapest three disc disc golf set I could find on amazon.com. And I think I found the cheapest set because this set all together cost me $16.99 and it was like $5 shipping. So it's all under $25. I had a $25 gift card. I couldn't find anything on this company anywhere. I even put a shout out on my Instagram. If anyone has any information on this company, please DM me, zero DM. No, that's, that's not a shocker, but I can't find anything on this company. I, I tried researching everything. I could not find anything on this company. So I'm actually excited to see how the plastic is, how well the uh, disc came out. Okay, so first things first, I want to make sure they sent me a mini marker, a first this mini marker. Hopefully that's nice and focused. Um, a first disc towel, and then a three disc set. Let's check it out. Okay, so first things first. Whoa. Okay, so right off the bat right off the bat i can already tell you that their putter is actually their mid-range you can tell by the length and it has putter written on it and then their putter again you can tell by the wing and the beveled edge has mid-range written on it so right off the bat we're off, we're off to uh this, this definitely got to be the cheapest set because it's already misprinted um and we also have a driver, which I believe is a fairway driver. Yep, you can tell by the width of the wing. That's kind of like a tiny whip. The, the bigger the whip, the faster the disc. So that's how you can tell this is probably just a fairway driver. So anyways, uh, first things first, this is stiff as a brick. Stiff as a brick. There is no give to these whatsoever. I can. I can barely pop top that and I'm putting a lot of pressure on that. Wow. Okay, so second thing that I'm noticing, there's no marking on these discs whatsoever. No patent numbers, no made in USA, made in China, made in Australia, nothing. There's no made in anywhere. But as I'm looking here, still, no markings whatsoever. So this is like a mystery company that I never even heard of. Um, can't find any information on. Um, right off the bat, I'm already seeing, you know, faultiness in their disc by being mislabeled. So um, eventually, I think I'm gonna, going to weigh these discs out, see what their weight are, and then eventually hit the course, test them out, and see what I don't see too bad. The putter actually reminds me of and I'll tell you why I know this, of a warden. And the reason why I know what a warden feels like is because I never played with a warden, but Maple Hill has like rental discs and some of our rental discs are warden. So I've been able to, you know, mess around with them a little bit. But this, the putter actually doesn't feel too bad. I'm actually, I'll be okay with the putter. The mid range right off the bat just feels overstable, which actually could be a good thing. Could be a good thing. Feels overstable. Uh, it does have a bead on it. Kind of reminds me of like a super, super stiff. Like this is probably the hardest plastic I've ever felt. Hands down. I haven't felt a stiffer plastic out there. It's like a DX, but super, 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 super stiff. Last but not least, the fairway driver. 
Man, this kind of reminds me of like a, maybe a slightly faster T-Bird. The wing might be a little bit, you know, wider than the uh, T-Bird, but has a nice, uh, tell it's an overstable disc just because it like, has that nice little indent in the wing. If it was flat, that's how you can tell it's understable, and the more indent in the wing, the more overstable the disc is going to fly. So as you can see, it has a little indent right here, which creates uh, overstability. This is gonna be a, a stable to overstable fairway. This is going to be overstable mid-range, and I'm just guessing. And this will be a straight to understable putter, just because it has no bead. Um, and that will just kind of make it, give it a neutral play. So, done rambling, that's that. And hopefully we test these, this out soon. And I'm going, the, the challenge is I can only use what I got in my first disc set. So I got these three discs. I got my, my towel, which actually can be kind of sad, I only have a one towel. And uh, my mini marker, which is fine. Because half the time I don't even play with a mini. So that's that. Oh.